This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. What exactly do you guys do in class? I mean, what are you supposed to, and why doesn't it keep you busy enough? Learn from a teacher that doesn't really want to teach. Wow, that sucks. I wouldn't call that learning. I'd call that being uselessly babbled at. Oh, it is. You have to spend a day what we do. Sorry, what? That was most of middle school and high school for me. I started college, but then I immediately dropped the class of any professor I couldn't take seriously. My political science professor was especially an airhead. I can tell. No, you can't. You're probably not even listening. Before I dropped out of college, I used to go on long rants on her (coughs) teaching style. She cared about teaching, but unfortunately, she cared more about her hair and makeup than actually preparing her lesson plans. I had a chem teacher like that. Oh, you poor thing. I respect chem. Can't follow most science, but I respect chem. So, if those dumb bunnies you're forced to call teachers don't care about teaching, why don't they do something else? I hear KFC's hiring. Fuck that. I'm wanting to do TSA. Dude, she wasn't suggesting you apply at KSC. Hey, if Sergey or those awful teachers do start working at KSC, they can give Yali free meals and then maybe Anita will want to date him. I mean, they should do something else, man. You deserve to be taught by people who care about teaching. Like, they should leave the position open for someone who wants it. My dad cared about teaching. He was a hard ass, but the kids he taught actually learned. Same thing with my mom. That's actually my favorite kind of teacher. I respect teachers like that. Oh, me too. I was that kid everyone hates because I'd remind the teacher when homework was due and I'd actively participate in most discussions. Well, in mythology, it was usually the teacher and me bantering about, say, comparing and contrasting Joseph Campbell and the Marquis de Sade, and in philosophy, it was whether or not Kantianism is realistic. Honestly, I remember taking those classes with you and probably the reason no one else participated in the discussions is because they couldn't fucking follow what we were saying because they were too busy trying to be popular or had their heads stuffed with useless crap like celebrity fashions? is because no one could get a word in edgewise between you and the teacher. You hardly even let the teachers talk when you really got going, as I recall. Anyway, sometimes we got hard-ass subs, and I'd go up to them after class and apologize for my classmates being assholes. I liked hard-asses, generally. My parents wouldn't have taken anybody's shit. Good, you know, if more elementary schools had teachers like that, they might have learned some respect. And we wouldn't have had to deal with their irritating asses in high school. Nowadays, it's all about coddling the students. Sickening. My mom was my high school French teacher, and my dad was my college journalism teacher. Nice. Ah, c'est magnifique. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi, monsieur? Dude, la femme. D'accord, d'accord. Cinnamon and I went to a middle and high school where the staff cared more about enforcing neurotypical behavior than actually teaching. I threw stuff at them a lot. Funny! I found their style too conformist for my liking. And meanwhile, they called this one poor sensitive widow man stealing bandersnatch. Ugh. I stole the bastard back and they were all, Don't flaunt your relationship in front of Kelly. It hurts her. Get the fuck out. Seeing other people in relationships that mean something hurts me. That sounds like a bloody personal problem. Yeah! Would you rather everyone in the world be in meaningless relationships? Doesn't yours mean anything to you? You know what I mean! 
Actually, I don't. He just means that it hurts him to see people who are happier and in more healthy relationships than he is. That explains why he decided to go to Job Corps despite still having a trust fund. Ever been in a relationship that seemed one-sided? So why not go with one that's more two-sided? Cause every time I try to find one, it usually turns out to be one-sided. You know, they say the one consistent thing in all your bad relationships is you. Why don't you try looking inward and seeing if the problem might be something in you that's attracting those sort of people? Victim blaming. Just because you're offended doesn't mean I'm wrong. Ding dong! So we can talk this out like adults? His heart isn't your. Great start. You know well enough that snuggling for a few days can't be nearly enough to win a person's heart. I mean, if it were, I could imagine that's how Zenless initially formed the organization. You know what? Valid. New headcanon. If it were that simple, I would have been married by this point. Yeah, and divorced, because no one wants to deal with you for the rest of their lives. But she wants them to spend money on her for the rest of their lives. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. Then I will. Hey, can I have everyone's attention? No. Like I even have to ask with this voice. Anyway, ladies, gentlemen, tramps, these, and etc. I would like to make an announcement. It's time for Akuma to have a miscarriage and die? What the fuck? Honey, we discussed this backstage. You'll understand in a couple weeks. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'll be okay with it. Jeez. Anita Tension is a certified pre-owned gold digger here to dig gold and demand free food and housing. I've heard it's not really worth it because she's also incredibly selfish and bad. Selena, we talked about you borrowing my soapbox without permission. I thought it was Grapanid's soapbox. No, he's too cheap to shell out for his own soapbox. Good news, Drapanin. You're safe. That's right. Drapanin, marked safe from the Anita Tension gold digging spree of 29, I mean 2008. Anita, it's not for you to say what his heart is. You're right. That's for Jay to say. Wait, what? Really? Yes, really. Ha! Uh, Akuma, you owe me five dollars. What if I give you a bubble tea and we call it even? Fuck yeah, bubble tea for the win. Ah. He didn't confirm you have it. But he has. What did you do, rip it out of his chest like in Once Upon a Time? Wait, Jay, is what she says true? Show me proof that you said his heart is yours. You know, Anita, the best way to a man's heart is directly between his fourth and fifth rib. I prefer the taste of Pop-Tarts and crack! Yeehaw! Me too, come to think of it. I like Pop-Tarts dipped in the blood of my enemies. Even better! I'm already finding this heart when you brought up the question earlier. This isn't making it any easier on me or him. <sighs> Pity me! Oh my god, Zakuma, what the fuck do you want now? Mostly to get everyone to ignore Ty because she is boring me. Welcome to my world. Thank you, Sir Lena. I love Jay. Can you say the same? Sure, anyone could. That doesn't make it mean anything. I think you like the idea of Jay, but I don't think you respect him as a person. And that's a necessary ingredient of love. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start by saying, whatever is decided in this, no one has any hard feelings or goes full tilt to kick someone else off the stage because of it. We are all adults in this matter and should go about it in that way. Aww. Didn't want to shell out for the abyss. Are you kidding me? These fuckers don't deserve the glory of the abyss. Besides, Marie's rented it out for the foreseeable future. And here, I thought Jay had already agreed to date Anita off-screen. Now he's acting like there's still a decision to be made? Fuck that. Why don't you girls just share him? Yes, because that always works perfectly! 
I agree with my sister. They try to kill each other within minutes. Is what she said still true? Do you love her? Does she have your heart? I have told her that. Boo! And yes, I did say that. Boo! But, putting this whole situation into perspective, I have to think about this, not from an emotional standpoint, but, ra but a rather, and albeit, sloped, logical standpoint. Boo! You promise. I've known Ty for... What? A month or two now? And while, yes, it feels right, and I enjoy the conversations we have, at the same time, I can't deny the feelings I have for Anita as well. Boo! Yeah, make up your mind. You already promised Anita you'd go out with her. With that being said, I'm not going to be denied the one of you an answer at this moment. Boo! Wishy-washy bullshit! I know what I've said to both of you. And it's not fair for me to do this, but... No, it is not fair. I'm also not going to go ahead first and jump into it without thinking it through. Should have thought of that before you agreed to go out with Anita. To be fair. Boo! I mean, I kind of ship you with Ty also, but it's the principle of the thing! Is it fair? No. At the same time, I'd ask the same of both of you. Why do either of them have to wait for your hypocritical ass to decide when you already agreed to go out with one of them before now? You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself, bub. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, I guess at least he acknowledges he's a hypocrite. So, with that being said, give me a day or two at the best, alright? Boo. Rage quit! Not cool. Disqualified. Anachronisms. It's not a game. I'm not a robot AI challenging you. I'm not a phantom, I'm in your face and I'm here to see you through. Right before your eyes, watch us multiply. Come to claim my rights, it's time. As our power grows, trying to stop a show. Mine is Uncle Tron, stop time. Who oh, you know that we're out there, spotting lies in the making. Can we fuse without breaking? Can a whole lot of life won't change? And the voices ring out, yeah. Tell the mask off to feel free. Thought it out in the debris, now we know that life will change. Ain't it a shame, I'm not a figment of your ailing old mind. I'm just as real as, I'm just as dangerous as you will soon find. The taste of your meds, buying every breath. Inside your head, your heart, as your crippled brain tries to fight in vain, your empire will fall apart. And you'll know that we're out there, spotted lies in the making. Your empire for the taking Can a hold on our life for change And our voices ring out, yeah Take the mask off to feel free Hot it out in the debris Now we know that life will change